Brent and Sarah, under that proposal, the fares on Metro North, CT Rail's Hartford Line and Shoreline East would increase by about 4.5%. There would also be some changes to some bus service. It would involve adding new routes and discontinuing others. But here along the shoreline, a lot of the conversation tonight was about the trains and what impact those changes would have. Proposed changes to rail service in Connecticut have many who depend on the trains feeling concerned. The specific trains I use on a regular basis are proposed to be eliminated. The Connecticut Department of Transportation is proposing cuts to service on the New Haven Line, New Canaan Line, Danbury Line, and to the Shoreline East, which would go from 23 to 16 trains. Cutting services will effectively be the end for Shoreline East, putting this part of the state at an even greater disadvantage than wealthier areas like Fairfield County. The DOT says the changes come from the state budget passed by lawmakers and signed by the governor earlier this year, and that it's reflective of current ridership levels. We're certainly see, seeing lots of people utilize public transportation throughout Connecticut. The days of the week and the times of the day, that's where things have changed. Monday evening was the first of four public hearings being held this week about the issue, where people have the chance to learn more about the potential changes and share their concerns. Um, we are a public service, and in order to most effectively run a public service, you need customer input. Those who spoke out against the proposal say the problems with it range from inconveniences related to the schedule to major life impacts for those who depend on the service. A lot of people who have to get to work with disabilities and stuff like that, they have less options and they're going to be stranded. And advocates for public transportation worry that impacts could be far-reaching. So this isn't just a ridership issue which is big enough in itself, but now it, the, the, the area employers, Yale, it could be Pfizer, Electric Boat, anyone up and down the shoreline that is trying to recruit people, that's a problem. But the plan is not final quite yet. Even though the budget was passed, they can still do a little moving around of resources and stuff, so it's important for people to show up, have their voices heard. Now, in a statement tonight, the governor's office said in part, the budget supports rail service that reflects current demand in light of more people working remotely and said Shoreline East ridership is only about 30 percent of what it was pre-pandemic. Now, there will be another in-person public hearing held tomorrow in Hartford, but there are several other ways that you can submit comment to the DOT. We have details on how to do that on our website, fox61.com. Live in New Haven, Gabby Molina, Fox 61, Connecticut's news station.